السلام علیکم عزیز طلبہ اور طالبات پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ کورس اس کے حوالے سے آج کا سیشن پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ سافٹ ویئر پہ ہے بہت قسموں کے بہت طرح کے پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ کو امپلیمنٹ کرنے کے لیے سافٹ ویئرس اویلیبل ہیں بہت سارے سافٹ ویئر ویب بیسڈ ہیں یعنی وہ انٹرنیٹ کے ذریعے آپ ایکسیس کرتے ہیں اور اسی کے ذریعے آپ امپلیمنٹ کرتے ہیں اور جو لوگ بھی کمپنی کے اندر یا کمپنی سے باہر اس سافٹ ویئر میں حصہ لیتے ہیں یا سافٹ ویئر کو یوز کرتے ہیں یا اس میں ریویوز دیتے ہیں یا اس میں ایویلویشن دیتے ہیں فیڈ بیک دیتے ہیں وہ کمپنی کے اندر بیٹھ کے بھی ہو سکتا ہے کمپنی کے باہر بھی ہو سکتا ہے آپ کا کوئی کسٹمر بھی فیڈ بیک دے سکتا ہے تو یہ ویب بیسڈ سافٹ ویئرس بہت سارے اویلیبل ہیں جن کا میں ذکر کروں گا ایک لحاظ سے اگر تھوڑی سی آپ کو بیک گراؤنڈ بتانا چاہوں کسی ریسرچ کے حوالے سے میں نے پڑھا کہ بائی ایئر 2040 یعنی بیس سو چالیس میں یا بیس سو چالیس تک شاید کوئی کتاب کاغذ پہ نہیں چھپے گی سب کتابیں الیکٹرانک فارمیٹ میں اویلیبل ہوں گی اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ ہم ہر چیز کو کمپیوٹر سسٹمز کے ذریعے سافٹ ویئر کے ذریعے ہینڈل کریں گے یا ہیومن لائف بہت ساری ریگولیٹ ہوگی تھرو کمپیوٹر سافٹ ویئرس دو ہزار چالیس کو بہت دور نہیں ہے بڑی تیزی سے ہم الیکٹرانک سسٹمز کو یوز کر رہے ہیں ان آل ہیومن ایکٹیویٹیز مینوفیکچرنگ سروس ڈلیوری آرگنائزیشن بلڈنگ ہیومن ریسورسز مینجمنٹ ہیومن ریسورسز ڈیولپمنٹ کون سا ایریا ہے ہیومن لائف کا ہیومن ایکٹیویٹی کا جس میں اب کمپیوٹر کا یا کمپیوٹر سافٹ ویئر کا عمل دخل نہیں ہے آپ کے ارد گرد موبائل فونز ہیں کمپیوٹرز ہیں چھوٹی چھوٹی گیجٹری ہیں بے شمار جو کمپیوٹر کے ساتھ کسی نہ کسی طریقے سے یا کمپیوٹر سافٹ ویئر کے ساتھ لنکڈ ہیں آپ کا ٹیلی کمیونیکیشن سسٹم اگر اس کو دیکھ لیں تو وہ کس حد تک انٹرنیٹ بیسڈ ہے کمپیوٹر بیسڈ ہے کمپیوٹر کے ساتھ لنکڈ ہے یا کمپیوٹر سافٹ ویئر کے ساتھ لنکڈ ہے تو اس لیے یہ جو پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ ہے اس کا بھی بہت سارا ریلیشن شپ کمپیوٹر سافٹ ویئر کے ساتھ ہے ایک بات اور کہتا چلوں کہ پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ ایک اپنی جگہ ایک کانسیپٹ ہے یا ایک فنامنا ہے جس کو ہم آج کمپیوٹر سافٹ ویئر کے ذریعے امپلیمنٹ کرنا سیکھیں گے لیکن ایک بات کہوں کہ ہم زیادہ تر پرفارمنس کے ریفرنس سے جو انڈر پرفارمنس ہے نا اس کو ہم نے ایڈریس کرنا ہوتا ہے میرا کہنے کا مقصد یہ ہے کہ 
کمپنی میں مختلف لوگ کام کر رہے ہیں بعض اوقات ایز مینجمنٹ ایز لیڈرشپ ایز سپروائزر ہم یہ تصور کرتے ہیں کہ یہ دو لوگ یا چار لوگ یا دس لوگ یا سارے ہی ہم انڈر پرفارم کر رہے ہیں ہم اس سے بہتر پرفارم کر سکتے ہیں ہماری پرفارمنس اس سے بہتر ہو سکتی ہے اگر ہم چاہیں تو اور اس انڈر پرفارمنس کو ایڈریس کرنے کے لیے یا اس انڈر پرفارمنس کو ختم کرنے کے لیے ہم پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ سافٹ ویئر کو یوز کر سکتے ہیں میں نے آج کے سیشن کے لیے بہت سارے پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ کے سافٹ ویئر کو براؤز کیا بہت سارے کالجز نے یونیورسٹیوں نے سروس اورینٹڈ کمپنیز نے مینوفیکچرنگ کمپنیز نے اپنے اپنے ٹیلر میڈ ٹیلر ڈیولپڈ اسپیشلی ڈیولپڈ سافٹ ویئر بنائے ہوئے ہیں اور ان سافٹ ویئر کے ذریعے اپنی پرفارمنس کو کنٹینیوسلی امپروو کر رہے ہیں پہلے سیشن میں بھی کئی دفعہ بات ہوئی کہ پی ایم ایس بنیادی طور پہ ڈیولپمنٹ کا نام ہے یا ڈیولپمنٹ کے لیے کام کرتا ہے ہیومن ریسورسز کو ڈیولپ کرتا ہے ہیومن کیپٹل کو ڈیولپ بھی کرتا ہے اور اس کو آپٹیمم پرفارمنس بھی لیتا ہے اس کے دو کام ہیں ایک پرفارمنس لینا اچھی سے اچھی امپروفڈ اور دوسرا ڈیولپمنٹ ڈیولپمنٹ آف انڈیویجولس ڈیولپمنٹ آف امپلائیز اینڈ ڈیولپنگ کوآڈینیٹنگ گروپ ایکٹیویٹی اگر گروپ ایکٹیویٹی کو میں ایک طریقے سے ایک اور طریقے سے بولوں تو جو پی ایم ایس ہے یا پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ سافٹ ویئر ہے وہ الیکٹرانک ٹیم بلڈنگ کا دوسرا نام ہے یعنی پرفارمنس مینجمنٹ سافٹ ویئر کے ذریعے ہم الیکٹرانک ٹیم بلڈنگ کرتے ہیں جیسے کسی زمانے میں ہم انڈیویجولس جو لیڈر ہوتے تھے کسی گروپ کے وہ ٹیم بناتے تھے سب کے اندر ایک طرح کی وی فیلنگ ڈیولپ کرتے تھے کہ یہ ہم نے کام کرنا ہے ٹیم بلڈنگ ہوتی تھی ان اس میں گول اورینٹیشن پیدا کی جاتی تھی کہ ہم سب کا ایک ہی گول ہے کسی نے کوئی فنکشن کرنا ہے کسی نے کوئی فنکشن کرنا ہے کسی نے کوئی کام کرنا ہے کسی کو کوئی ذمہ داری ہے اس طرح سے سارے مل کے ایک لیڈر کے کمانڈ میں ایک ڈائریکشن کی طرف سب لوگ چلتے تھے اور الٹیمیٹلی وہ ٹیم پرفارم کرتی تھی کیونکہ سافٹ ویئر کی بہت ڈیولپمنٹ ہوئی پچھلے پچیس تیس سال میں تو سافٹ ویئر نے کمپلیکیٹڈ ایشوز کو بھی ایڈریس کرنا شروع کر دیا آرگنائزیشنز میں ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ ایک بڑا کمپلیکیٹڈ ایشو ہے کیونکہ اس میں ایموشنز بھی ہیں ہیومنز انسان یہ مشین کی طرح نہیں ہیں ان کے اندر جذبات ہیں ایموشنز ہیں اس کی وجہ سے مینجمنٹ میں عام طور پہ ہیومنز یا انسان جو ان ایموشنز کو سمجھتے ہیں یا سمجھتے تھے وہ ٹیم بلڈنگ میں کامیاب ہوتے ہیں لیکن آج کے اس کمپلیکس دور میں یہ شاید نئی ضرورت ڈیولپ ہو رہی ہے کہ اگر ایک کسی آرگنائزیشن میں اچھا لیڈر ہے تو وہ ٹیم بنا کے کمپنی کو آرگنائزیشن کو بہت گرو کرا جاتا ہے یا ڈیولپ کرا جاتا ہے اور اگر وہ لیڈر وہ انڈیویجول 
वो हेड वो मैनेजर किसी वजह से चला जाए ट्रांसफर हो जाए छोड़ के चला जाए रिजाइन कर जाए तो समटाइम्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कमजोर हो जाती हैं डिक्लाइन कर जाती हैं तो आज के दौर में शायद ये एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं है या ये मुश्किल हो गया है कि हम वी लीव इट टू वन इंडिविजुअल कि अगर वो चला जाता है तो कंपनी शायद नुकसान में चली जाए तो वो कंपनी के स्टेक्स बहुत हाई हैं तो इसलिए और ये आज के दौर में मुमकिन भी हो गया कि आप बजाय किसी एक इंडिविजुअल के ऊपर डिपेंड करें हु इज अ लीडर ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आप उसके अंदर ऐसा सिस्टम डेवलप कर दें इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम जिसके जरिए अगर वो चला भी जाता है लीडर तो वो सिस्टम काम करता रहे और इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली मॉनिटर करता रहे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को उसकी जरूरियात को देखता रहे और अल्टीमेटली ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ग्रो भी करती रहे और चलती भी रहे लेकिन यहां पे इसी ब्रेथ में इसी जगह पे इसी मोमेंट पे ये कहना चाहूंगा कि ठीक है ये पॉसिबल हो चुका है या फ्यूचर में और मुमकिन हो जाएगा कि आप सॉफ्टवेयर के जरिए बहुत सारे काम अभी भी कर रहे हैं और फ्यूचर में बहुत सारे काम कर सकेंगे लेकिन इंसान की जरूरत फिर रहेगी क्योंकि सॉफ्टवेयर बनाने वाला भी तो इंसान ही है सॉफ्टवेयर की लिमिटेशंस आएंगी अल्टीमेटली तो सॉफ्टवेयर ने जितने काम करने हैं वो तो अपनी जगह बात है लेकिन सॉफ्टवेयर की अपनी लिमिटेशंस एक जमाने में आएंगी या अब भी हैं और फिर कौन उन लिमिटेशंस को लुक आफ्टर करता है अगेन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स तो ह्यूमन बीइंग्स इंसान इंडिविजुअल्स दे रिमेन सुपीरियर टू ऑल टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज दे आर क्रिएटर्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी they are creators of software they are producers of software to so, isliye ye nahi samajhna chahiye ke agar software management ke liye jab istemal hoga to insaan ki value khatam ho jayegi aisa nahi hai ye sirf ye assure karne ke liye hai ke organizations kisi ek do individuals ke jaane ke baad कमजोर ना हो जाएं और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चलती रहे तो इसलिए इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम्स बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं फ्यूचर में शायद ज्यादा अच्छा काम करेंगे और अभी मैंने जिक्र किया इमोशंस का यस कंप्यूटर सॉफ्टवेयर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम्स दे प्रोबेबली कैन नॉट ड्यूली हैंडल इमोशंस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स इमोशंस ऑफ पीपल वर्किंग इन दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट देर आर सेवरल वेज टू एड्रेस दिस इश्यू वन ऑफ देम इज पुटिंग फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी इन टू इट टू वेन द फीडबैक इज पार्ट ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर वेन डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल्स पुट इन their feedback into the system it actually shows some sort of emotionality going into the system into the electronic information system that electronic information system is so integrated that it will actually notice it will actually note some sort of emotionality coming out of individuals into the system and then system will respond to that individual that emotionality coming from individuals working in the organization if apms software can handle these variations of individuals in terms of their rational needs and emotional needs then that system can deal with this can be very successful to deal with various management issues coming into the organization as i said 
there are several forms of software programs which are available in the form of web based software or independent software available in the market in the form of cds or some other ways of putting it in your own company's electronic system let me put some more detail into it obviously all information in apms or in performance management software is not needed by all individuals working in the organizations possibly the customers of an organization they do not need to access the information which is accessible to the managers of that organization for example for that matter many parts or components of the software performance management software are duly encrypted they are not available to all the people they are ac- accessible restrictively they are accessible only to those individuals who are authorized to use those parts or components of the information which are available in that performance management system software of an organization if you look into these things as i said before there are different software which are tailor made to suit the needs of different organizations but some universal type of types of software are also available we can use stata a form of software say very good software as far as my information goes it has different models in it but it has to be modified according to the needs of the organization there are other statistical packages which can be used to assess the needs of the organization to meet the different needs of the organization but as i said before that every organization has its own goals its own way of operating the types of individuals or employees how they are related with each other how operational system link them with each other now these operational systems goals of the organization mission of the organization they demand different form of software different form of management when you want a different form of management you want a different form of software that is why you do need a tailor made software to manage your organization through that electronic system now that electronic system actually integrates the activities of all the employees working in the organization in the form of giving feedback somebody is giving news in the organization somebody is saying that a new employee has joined the organization there are different forms of information which are getting into the system and those information pieces of information are accessible by employees with the some restrictions with some authorizations if you don't want to use the word restriction because some information is useful to some employees other pieces of information are used by different employees so it actually what does pm 
software do it actually integrates information it integrates activities it integrates feedback it actually assures development and achievement of organizational goals if you see these two points and then integrate the different functions which are happening in an organization that integration can build the organization develop individuals and ultimately let the organization achieve its objectives its goals and realize its mission and vision now let me share some different forms of software which certain companies are using just to give you a feel how these softwares are used by different companies by different organizations biz library now this is a software which actually deals with competency and performance management how individuals are performing what are their competencies what are their skills how skills are assessed this software does the gap analysis report the gap for example if an employee is not working according to the expectation if a receptionist is not duly receiving the customers or visitors or guests then his or her behavior is noted and a gap is shown in his or her competency in his or her behavior actual behavior and the expected behavior if that gap analysis is done then possibly we can find out ke how or what sort of training could be given to this individual for improving his or her performance in future so these sort of software are available in the market one and secondly if you tell a software development company that these are our needs this is how this company operates they can develop the kind of software which is useful to you at one time i gave such an assignment to a software developer he interviewed me and asked me how the process of trade starts we used to import goods from overseas he asked me the questions where do you import it from what are its duties how many days it takes to process the order how many days it takes to ship the order from the company which is selling us and then going to the shipyard or the port then from port to our port in karachi and then how many days in karachi then how many how many days from karachi to lahore for example and then when he learned all the process all the functions all the operations then he developed the appropriate software so in that context unless a software developer developer doesn't understand duly the total functions of the organization the software developer probably cannot do a good job so you must be clear about the total functionality of the organization and that is why all organizations probably need to have their own 
tailor made performance management software if the number of people increases complexity increases maybe certain new features are needed possibly there is another company called mara consulting they also have a performance management software they use it to facilitate development of core organizational competencies they influence smart goal setting they talk about for example what is attrition why people leave why people come in what is success how do you define success if you know what is success then people will be moved or motivated to work to achieve that success if they are not sure if they don't know what is success they probably will not be able to focus on that success let me tell you the performance management software basically is aimed to improve future you are working in present but from your present you build your future future always come in the form of present and the present then goes to history it becomes past you cannot do much about past because it is past gone you can learn from it for sure but you only can can build your future from your present so your performance management software must be geared to develop individual employees for future challenges for their growth personal growth individual growth and also the development and growth of the organization for which you as an individual are you as individuals are working for so there are different organizations they have different forms of software i like to repeat that when i was browsing through these software i found out that different organizations have different navigation bars they have different concepts and words for example an organization needs manufacturing organization let's say errors complaints about the quality of the product probably the factor of delay is not very important but for a service oriented company the nature of error is delay in the service for example so different concepts are used in the navigation bars which you click with the mouse or whatever means and a window opens a window pane opens you probably add data into it you probably add information into it and it becomes integrated part of the total performance management system in an organization so this was mara consulting there is another software srt tools this is a human resource management software it evaluates and compares it evaluates different people it evaluates performance of different people possibly now you can imagine that there could be whole range whole array of softwares which deal with different problems an organization is facing which deals with different goals of the organization which that organization wants to achieve over a period of time there is another this is trinity college they have a performance management software their 
web navigation bar should be very different than the web navigation bar of the software which is let's say manufacturing cars manufacturing other goods now these operational factors operational functions of any organization are critical for the development of software for that organization now these uh, you need we need to develop actually human resources what does this performance management system or performance management software does it actually improves human capital human resources and it actually notices through a sophisticated information system whereby they the system the electronic system the software notices the gap or gaps between the due performance expected performance accepted expected behavior and the real behavior the actual behavior now that gap needs to be addressed that gap if addressed will improve the individual when it improve an individual and by the same token when it improves many individuals and they integratively as a team perform much better that means software has done well and that is what we are trying to learn that performance management software is actually a tool to build teams electronically and if a leader if a manager goes away from an organization for some for whatever reason the organization will not feel a real setback rather the organization will continue moving growing smoothly as it was going are developing are moving in the past in the presence of that great leader whoever it was so this electronic software let me say a point here many individuals will not like it because it is actually in a way a replacement of human being human energy human leadership by a system and if system is working well then probably the value of humans can go down it is possible that some people may think like that but i personally feel that humans will always remain superior to technology this technology the performance management software is being developed by humans not by any, anybody else so on that account we should not feel threatened by this technology but i'm sure there are certain um inhibitions or up uh, reservations of different individuals about it but let me tell you there is always a challenge to implement innovations i probably have shared this event in the past that the assembly line in japan was made successful by introducing human related components in it human relational needs into it and this assembly line became very successful similarly performance management system through electronic means can become very successful if we include human emotionality in it before i introduced introduce you a new software i'll 
navigate that software for you. Let me share a concept with you which is called analytics. Analytics is a science of analysis, is a science of the analysis of data, is a science of analyzing information, then producing predictive models, then telling what will happen in future. Actually, analytics as a science of data is to produce explanatory and predictive models. Why things are happening the way they are happening and what will happen in future. And it, it can become a great decision-making tool if you have the ability to analyze data, analyze information. In other words, as I said, the science of analysis is called analytics. The science of analyzing data or information is analytics. Now, when we have the ability to find analytics through performance management software, you can address various problems a company is facing, various problems individuals are facing. For example, if there is a development need or growing need of an individual or a need for developing new competencies needed to address the issue or to, to improve performance in an organization, then these analytics can help you do that. Now, there are different models available in a different software these days that if you put some information in it, in those models, they ultimately tell you what will happen 10 days down the road, 6 months down the road, 1 year down the road. That is why these softwares should have analytics in it. The component of analytics for any software is significant. It is important. It actually, a company arrives at an optimal or a realistic decision based on existing data. Now, data and information, when it is fed in the performance management software, it develops analytics. It develops business intelligence. It develops what will happen tomorrow, what will happen in future in a due course of time. If that happens, you can imagine how useful a software could be for an organization, even for countries. They can also build or develop models of performance of a country, economically, socially, politically, psychologically, militarily, in all aspects of human life. Let me share with you that in today's world environment, in today's global environment, individual countries are like companies. They are working in that larger environment and probably individual countries should have excellent performance management software or governance software to improve the efficiency of a country, of a country as organization, as a company, which is working in larger environment of the globe. So, this performance management software can work at all levels of human activity for an organization as small as one person and for an organization as big as countries. I like to emphasize the importance of analytics part in any 
performance management software if we have that that can be useful for the growth and development of any organization now i like to browse us through a performance management software named workforce growth this software is aimed to improve performance of an organization to integrate working of different different departments of an organization and ultimately improve the individual performance of an organization actually it is to build a productive culture in an organization and let me tell you this is very important if there is a culture of growth and development in an organization it will be highly satisfying to individuals to employees in that organization culture is something which actually uh, brings people together through commonality of values commonality of norms commonality of thinking commonality of working in one direction commonality of satisfaction through achievement of certain goals or values or maybe thinking in such a way that it works well let me share few points with you there could be human analytics talking about what is happening around people what is happening to the company how reviews are important how company is achieving the goals how company is in a way growing for meeting the challenges in future how collaboration is going on in the company there could be different points in the software for example there may be security and privacy issues there could be some administrative tools there could be some other pieces of data which are available to some people not available to other people all these things can be handled by such a software just to sum up today's session let me say it that today's software are so comprehensive so complex so useful so powerful that they can handle many challenges which our organizations are facing today and probably will face tomorrow electronic systems are going to be part of us today will become part of us tomorrow increasingly my advice is that the more we use electronic systems today the more likely are successful in the future so let us use computer software as much as possible electronic systems are going to going to be part of our life in future so we should not be afraid of using electronic means electronic systems computer software are other technologies which are around us with these words let us end the session today and hopefully you have learned enough to use performance management software for improving the efficiency of your organization khuda hafiz